Calvin Castine at Plattsburgh State Fieldhouse, Section 7, Class C Championship play coming up to the Ticonderoga Sentinels. And the Seton Catholic Knights, the Ticonderoga Sentinels, looking for a three-peat. Last year, they defeated Northern Adirondack for the 2005 title. The year before that, they defeated Seton for the 2000, and, excuse me, last year was the 2005 title, and the year before that, 2004. The year before that, it was NAC defeating Seton, and in 2002, Seton defeated Ty. Ty defeated NAC in 2001, and in 2000, NAC defeated Tupper Lake. In the previous year, Northeastern Clinton was a Class C school, and they defeated Northern Adirondack. So it's uh, pretty much in the last uh, six, seven years been Ty, Seton, and NAC. NAC was eliminated last week, and we're set to go. Edwards and Lacey are the officials. Give you a little bit of information that we've gleaned from today's press Republican. The uh, Sentinels are the uh, favorites. They were nine and seven in CBAC play. The play, the only Class C school to be in that league with a winning record in league play. Let's see, the, and head to head, oh, tie with the ball, and head to head, uh, the Sentinels have won both meetings, the leading players for uh, Knights are Pat Murnane with 9.8, Davis with 8.8, .8, Carroll 7.7, .7, Aki 7.2, and Luckin 6.2 on the Sentinel side. Slattery leads with 10.6, Lenhart 10.1, Mahalik 6.5, Drymiller 5.7, and Jeb 5.6. So both teams with balanced attack, no big score there that dominates. So there's nobody you can key on and say we're going to win this game if you take that person out of the, out of the ball game. From the baseline, shot is missed, rebounded by uh, Sean, Sean Carroll, I guess. And Sean Carroll scores. It's a player I'm not familiar with. Devin Slattery at the point for the Sentinels. Turn around, it bounces in. That was John Drymeller. Number 
Top of the key, three-point shot is missed by Aki. Carroll will reset the offense for the Knights. 2-2 ball game, 5-44 showing in the first period. Second game of the day, there are three games earlier today. The Spoon Lake Wildcats defeated Mariah to take the Class D title. And uh, following this will be Saranac and Northeastern Clinton for the Class B championship. Lenhart makes the first foul of the day. Bringing it into the forecourt is Casey Luckin. Renane shoots the ball low. Aki can't control it. Mound it. Sentinels the top seed at the Class C level. Only four schools this year. Basket by Lenhart. Upper Lake has gone back to section 10. Well, they're no longer in the mix. Lake Placid has become... Now, Lake Placid is a Class C school. Uh, Al Sable Valley has become a Class B school. Well, that takes two Class C schools out of the mix. And uh, there's one A school in the CBAC. That's That's Peru. So Peru is the automatic sectional champion at the boys level. Three pointer. A little acting there by Carroll as he hit the deck following the shot, looking to draw the call. Referee Lacey said, I've seen that act before. From hundreds of other, hundreds of other players. So he paid no attention to it. some refs who still call that so that's why the players continue to do it and why their coaches uh, preach it I don't think, uh, think the players ought to be taught how to how to play not how to uh, get calls that they don't deserve fadeaway is short by Lenhart. 5-4, Seton leading. Uh, less than three to go in the first period. And Tom Jeb, number 12, out the point. In the paint, banked in by Breidenbach. John Breidenbach makes it 6-5, Ticonderoga. Jeb going for the steal. Renane puts it up in the paint. And rebounded by Breidenbach. Renane slow to get up. drives and the Knights get the ball under two to go 6-5 low scoring we've seen a lot of low scoring games particularly in the girls action good rebounded by Carroll all comes low for Marnane Ball on the timeout, Sentinel's ball. Jeb brings it up. Al Mahalik takes it. 
tie up by a point. One minute and 12 seconds on the clock. Jeb from the top of the key, no, it's uh, Slattery from the top of the key. Clooney, uh, Cooney with the foul. Mahalik. Deep for Dry Miller. Jeb buries it, three pointer for Tom Jeb. Ben Jeb with the steal. And banked in by Mahalik. City Catholic timeout. All of a sudden, they're down by six with 58.6 on the clock. Into the forecourt. Sentinels take it away. Flattery lays it in. Buckin pushes it up to Murnane. Shot put up by Aki. And rebounded by Matt Streeter, number 30. 13 5, 8 point lead now with 18 seconds here in the first quarter. So I was 6 5, and all of a sudden, seven quick points from the Sentinels. I've opened it up. Aki gets the ball. Murnane pushes it up the floor to Cooney. At the buzzer, a buzzer beater for Cooney. And it's a 13-7 game after one here on Hometown Cable. I think that's a Ticonderoga nun here to cheer against Seton Catholic. How can a nun come to a championship game and cheer against the Catholic school. I don't know. Looks like Ticonderoga is bringing out all the guns today, along with all the nuns. The scoreboard still says 13-5, so I don't know. I was seeing things there. I thought I saw a basket. I thought I saw a basket, but I guess I didn't. 13-5 is the score early in the second period. I feel like Tweety Bird there. Three-point shot, put up. Off the back of the iron by Josh Davis. And the foul underneath. Cooney picks up his second foul. And it's Ticonderoga ball. Slattery. Is it to Mahalik? Traveling called. Can't get it to drop. Dry Miller with the rebound. Mahalik will bring it up. Slattery keeps his footing. Throws it in the paint to Jeb. Carroll gives the ball to Luckin. Luckin will bring it up. Shot is off the rim. And the Sentinels bring it down. There's a foul. Davis picks up his first foul. In the paint. And looks like a block, but I think they're going to call with the body. Her name. Lottery at the line. This game will be seen on Thai TV 17, maybe more than one. 
15-5, a 10-point lead now for the Sentinels. The defending champions looking for a three-peat. No foul, Jabs. Slattery lays it in. And wondering where the foul was. I was too. Oh, well, we've, we've clarified it. All the Ticonderoga players went to St. Mary's of Ty through the eighth grade, so it's all right for the, the sister to cheer for the, for the parochial school. And the basket. And we get a sub in, 21. That's uh, who we got, Neil Kirby in. Replaces Aki. 5.15 remaining in the first half. Davis brings it down. Kirby, Kirby in the paint, this is off. Lock and roll inbound. Uh, basket by Kirby. His first points since the first quarter. Travel. First point since the first quarter for Seaton. Ball will go to the Knights. And Davis will bring it up. Luckin, doubling around now, Davis, back to Luckin, and he drops it in. And Davis draws the defense, throws the ball in. Dry Miller, excuse me, uh, uh, Reidenbach. sheet is now fallen on the floor. We've got four minutes here in the first half. I think without our roster sheet, if there's a timeout, we'll be able to bend down and pick it up. But right now our roster is on the floor. Mahalik for the ball. Up to Breidenbach. 19-9 the score. Shot by Mahalik, kept alive by Breidenbach. Breidenbach. Jump ball. Slattery will inbound. Comes deep. Three-pointer makes it 22 to nine. If I can remember who 33 is, but that was a foul. Seaton ball. Baseline shot bounces off the rim, and Marnane is fouled. Fouls on Dry Miller. Working it around, under three to go. in the 
seat in Ticonderoga names. suspense any longer. We have to find out who 33 is. 33 is Drymiller. Okay, 31 is Lenhart. I think I may have called Lenhart Drymiller a couple times. So let's all pay attention in case I forget again. Drymiller's 33. Future big league pitcher. And Lenhart is 31. Fouls on Tom Cosgrove, 106 on the clock, 27 to 9. Tie leading by a 3 to 1 margin. If Lenhart makes this one, he could put his team up by 20. For the moment, they'll settle for 19. Rebound was pulled down by, let's get a number on him, 40. Uh, it's Cooney. Cosgrove dishes it to Carroll, out to uh, 20 Davis, and the Sentinels take it away. 36 seconds to go in the half, 28-19. It's a foul. Slattery leading with his shoulder. The Knights had the ball with 23 seconds to go. They are down by 19. Sentinels take it away. They give it back to the Knights with 10 seconds. 28-9 the score. The Knights looking to get in double figures. And they're going to have to do it at the foul line. It's called a non-shooting foul. 1.8 on the clock. Short. Uh, that'll do her for the first half. A big 28-9 lead for the Sentinels. They're looking for a three-peat. And they're up by 19 at the half over the Seton Catholic Knights. Second half will get underway with Seton Catholic controlling the ball. Luckin has it, brings it into the forecourt as Alan Kaufman arrives. Commander of the Ralph's Point American Legion. Post 912, I think it is. Renane dishes it off. Shot by Icky is short. Dry Miller will inbound it. Glad we've cleared up the Dry Miller Lenhart. Mess, there's Lenhart putting it up. Rebounded by Murnane. Davis into the forecourt. Uh, looking, dribbling it around. And comes out with it. Shot clock collapses. Baldwin still didn't hit the rim, so back on the road. Pushed up the floor to Breidenbach. 
throws it up into the vicinity of the basket. Davis brings it down for the Knights. Is it the Murnane and Pat Murnane has the bucket. And the Knights are in double figures. 28-11. Blocked by Murnane. That's a travel. Rainbow. Looking into the forecourt. Over to Aiki. Aiki makes it. No, it's only two points. I thought it was a, a deep three pointer. It's only two points. 28 13. Murnane picks up his third foul. Sends Slattery to the line for two. Mahalik reports back in for the Sentinels. Basket's good. 29-13. Inbounded by Sean Carroll. The shot is blocked. Fouls on Davis. Jab at the line. Second one is missed. Rebound by Luckin. 30 13 the score. 5 15 remaining in the third period. Section 7 Class C Championship Game. Gets it in to Lenhart. He gives the ball to Mahalik. Quickly the ball comes to Jeb. Mahalik for the elbow. Rebound Drymeller. And John Drymeller makes it 32. 13 back to a 19. to get the ball. Looking to get it back. He gets it. No foul. No foul. Looks like Murnane was expecting a foul call, but the refs right on top of the situation said nope. Dry Miller out to Jeb. Jeb pulls up for an eight footer. Was on Kirby. Slattery hits them both. And puts his team up by 21. Ticonderoga's biggest lead of the day. First game of the day was uh,
Nice follow by Mahalik. And it's 36-13. Sentinels come out with them. Laid up and in. By Slattery. Seaton timeout. They're down by 25 with 10.47 left in the game. Last time there was a blowout at the Class C level, you'd have to go back to the year 2000. NAC defeating Tupper Lake that year, 60 to 39. This could be even worse than that if uh, uh, doesn't get uh, their act in here. Of course, Ty might put some uh, in later, and that might allow Seaton to close it up a little bit. Thirteen, twenty-seven point lead. Underneath, let's find Sean Carroll. And they get a badly, badly, badly needed basket. Thrown up by Luckin and in. Nice move. John Luckin. Minute and a half remaining in the third. 40 his fourth foul. Uh, Lenhart defensive pressure. Luckin gives the ball up to uh, Kirby. He is fouled. Foul will be on Mahalik. No travel. Len uh, Leonard, Leonard gets a Knights bring it back. Aki is Picks up his third foul. 10.4 on the clock. Breidenbach will inbound it. Into Mahalik. Side of the backboard. Two seconds remain. 40 18. Ticonderoga leading in a convincing manner. Start the 
fourth quarter. 24-point lead now for Ticonderoga as they appear to be cruising to the 2006 title. Cooney and Mike Stark rolling over though. They're playing like they've still got a shot at it. Yeah, I hate to see throwing the towel like they did last night. Playing basketball out there. Let's uh, looking for a good shot. That's really what you need to do if you're down by this much. You're not going to win it. Three seconds. Ball still alive. And thrown in. Knights uh, try to make this as respectable as they can. They're not going to win it. Right now, if you're the Knights, just want to close the gap a little bit. Just not let it get any further out of hand. Lose. As you can, but take some time off the clock. Look for a good shot. Dryden Bach puts it up. And Dryden Miller was blocked from behind. Knights get the ball. Ball comes to Luckin. He looks down the floor from Renane, but he had three white shirts around him. Not a particularly good play. Forty-four, twenty-three. Flattery picks up his second foul, sends Luck into the line, he misses the first. Champion cheerleaders are warming up over there for the
345 on the clock. It's what 48 26 to score. The Knights get the ball. This is Davis. Three point shot. Good. Josh Davis. What a nice shot. Twenty-nine, three oh nine to go. Slattery brings it up. Doesn't get a handle on, gets the ball back. Lenhart keeps it. Throws it back out to Slattery. Mahalik in the paint. Rebound Lenhart. Goes out of bounds, off Aki. Travel. Three point shot by Davis is missed. And Mahalik. 222 left in the game. Sentinels up by 19. There's Clooney. Too strong. Rebounded by, oh, we got 10, uh, 30. 30 is Streeter. Jorai Miller will inbound it. Gets it to Mahalik. He gives it to Jeb. Jeb up to Slattery. Slattery dribbles through. He'll use up some of the clock. Knights in the man-to-man -man defense. Sentinels will keep the ball moving. Slattery penetrates. Back out to Mahalik. He shoots it out for Jeb. Jeb is 16 feet. By Slattery. Tony with his fourth foul. Sean McQuiston in for the Sentinels. Move by Lenhart. His team 50, a 21 point lead. 50 29, 20 to go. back in the book, as we said, the 21-point difference back in 2000. 21-point difference at the moment. In with a steal. And he dumps it. Brings the difference down to 19. A little bit of satisfaction. Uh, 
foul on Cosgrove, or jump ball, jump ball. Going back further, the only time we see another 21-point difference was way back in 77. Westport over Crown Point. Yeah, so 21. It back to 21. Uh, Seaton fouls. Oh, there's a foul. As uh, Marnane, I think, is probably fouled out. He was trying to push his way through a pick. Uh, calling it an offensive foul, so there's no shot. Thank you. 